自分のものみてえにサスケの名を口にすらんじゃねえBAM Collectibles here, back for another statue unboxing review for you. I've been wanting to showcase this statue on the channel for what feels like years now, so I'm very excited to bring this to everybody today. Be sure to stick around for the full length of the video to see how you can win the Naruto recast statue shown later on. Tilting the base up, we'll see the PT Studio logo on the top left. The addition size there, only 50 were made internationally, which is crazy small. Now, this studio also made a two-tail and a one-tail, I do believe, but I'm not sure they did anything after that. Really classy-looking round black base with the nameplate on the front, that golden Uzumaki Naruto. For the diorama on the base, we have lots of rock, rubble, and degree going on. Multiple places are going to be smooth. That little white area is, is smooth. There's no texturing to it because as we install effects, they need to fit on there without rubbing up against each other. So they didn't texturize there. And looking at the bottom of the base, we'll see numerous small little holes. I believe there is a total of two here. We'll also see some magnets there for Naruto's feet later. But the holes are primarily going to be where we're going to install little tiny effect pieces coming up soon. And you can see on the right a paw or claw-like outline. I bet you can guess what's going to go on that side. In comes the bottom half of the QB head. The rest will be installed later, so it looks a little freaky and weird now. But there's a large, giant notch on the bottom here that's going to help it mount to the bottom of the base. It really needs to be because it's extremely heavy. An effect piece is going to go there later. We see a magnet there, another one outlined in the center there. And so this thing is kind of like the backbone of the whole statue, so it needs to be really sturdy and thick. The bottom part of the jaw was done extremely realistically. We can see a nice glossy coat was done over to give it a wet-like texture with all the saliva that's likely going on inside of the QB's mouth. The teeth they sculpted on there look crazy vicious. We'll take a look at them a little bit closer later when we focus on the top portion of the mouth. But here is that large notch on top where that portion of the head is going to mount to later. Lots of crazy paint shading going on with the fur there. We can see it's more of a matte tone, so it's not glossy. It's more of a flat paint, and it gives a realistic feel to the actual fur. With the backbone of the statue installed, we'll go ahead and twist this around to the side so we can get some of these large, smoky effect pieces installed. And first thing you'll notice is that dot in the center there. That's where an effect piece will be installed later. And then we have the large notch in the back with another magnet on top. It's not too heavy because it's a little hollow inside. I can't really tell if this is smoke or dust effect. It kind of looks like smoke to me because it's got a darker shade to it. But extremely large. We'll go ahead and get this installed. Normally, I'm a big fan of adding different effect pieces to enhance the statue, but this one is kind of odd. It's off because it's in the back. You don't really see it that much. While it's well done as far as the craftsmanship, I think it was unnecessary. They could have saved, I don't know, what, another five bucks on the statue by leaving this off, and it wouldn't have broke my heart. Up next, we'll have another smoky piece, which does include the QB's claw coming out of there. It's hard to tell if he's being summoned or just coming from out of the actual smoke itself, but the bottom part of it is also smooth with that notch. Smooth because we don't want the resin to rub up against resin. The claws were done interestingly. They have a metallic paint job on them. I would imagine them being white or similar to that of the teeth, but uh, that's what they went with. If you see coming up you know, closely, you will notice a lot of different shading going on, which again, does a great job at bringing the life to the actual QB in the statue. As we begin to put the statue together, it is a very interesting piece that it was done. It's kind of an artistic interpretation of Naruto and some of his abilities, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on it as we go along and put it together. This is the last smoky piece that they included, probably the largest of the three that they have here. But again, nothing much to see. It's kind of similar to the other ones. A little bit of debris, a lot of smoke, and magnets that stick that bad boy on there. Similar to the back piece, we have this chakra effect that they sculpted. Now, this one does have a good purpose, so it's going to be installed on the front left part of the statue. I think it does enhance it, especially once we get Naruto in here. And then we have some ninja tools or weapons that they sculpted in here. We have a shuriken, and then we have another one that was also sculpted uh, with it. But first off, we'll show the kunai that was in there. Diff different kunai than we normally see. Usually there's some wrapping on the bottom there, but it's just a straight metal kunai. So that goes up in the top left. Then we have one over here and another up at the top right. As you know, I love to do, we're taking a small break from the unboxing to open up a Naruto CCG pack. We can see by the pack art on the front, very fitting for this actual unboxing. It's not every time that the pack art goes along with the statue, but this one does extremely well. If anybody's wondering why I cut these open with scissors, it's because the packs for Naruto cards are extremely thick and hard to just tear open evenly. So we have inflow of chakra 
and then we have Afro Man, and then we have Messenger Ninjas for our holographic in the pack, and then we have a mission, oh, that's a really cool looking mission card, look at the art on that, really different from the other ones, Air Fish, and Kakashi and Pakun, Young looking Choji, some barbecue for Choji, Eno, and then ending with a rainbow letter Rasengan, which is our rare for the pack. If you have a Naruto CCG collection that you're willing to part with, you don't really want it anymore, it's collecting dust, hit me up on my social medias, I'd love to talk a trade if there's enough rare and valuable cards in there. I had to share with you, you know I love mixing up cards and statues, well this is probably the most perfect card I could ever imagine to go with it. Now it's not even a super rare card, you can see on the bottom, it's just a straight common card, but it reflects the character and nature of the statue so well. Up next, it is time to put the rest of QB's head on here. Now we can see this is extremely huge and extremely heavy. As you'd imagine, we have that large notch that's gonna fit into the keyhole on the top of the head. And then we also have on the front here, we can take a look at the eye. I'm not sure how they did this, but it's like a, almost like a glass looking cover that went on there. Look how realistic the gums and the teeth look. You can see that resin, that clear resin looking saliva that's dripping down from there. Get a close up of that eye real quick. You can see the, the veins that are popping out there. The nose also has a bit of a crunch to it you can see like he's angry just like a, a dog would make when the snout goes up i know he's a fox but i'm more familiar with dogs and i've seen them make that face before uh, when they scrunch their noses but those teeth man that looks absolutely incredible how they did that on this statue with the top portion on there, it looks odd because you can't see the eyes, but that's mainly because of the angle that I'm filming here. If I turn this to the side, that's a better view right there. We can see extremely crazy how menacing it looks coming from out of that smoke, just popping out, and also just the fullness and how large the QB head is. For those that have been around the channel for a while, you'll know that I do this series called Recast versus Authentic. Because this statue is smaller, I wanted to go ahead and just do it while I'm doing the regular showcase for the statue. So this is what I would call the bootleg or the PVC recast of this original statue here, which this statue actually comes with an alternative base as you see on this one here. But we'll take him out of the packaging. We won't go over the details just yet. So we'll go ahead and take the plastic wrapper off and stick him off to the side. And we'll go over the details of the main one first, take a look at what real quality looks like, and then we'll take a look at this one to see as well how it measures up compared to the authentic version. By no way am I condoning buying the recasted version, but I wanted to showcase to you what they look like as an option if you're interested in them. Now this is the alternative base that comes with the authentic version. You can see the bottom looks similar to that of the other one, and the actual tone of the stone on the bottom looks great, Uzumaki Naruto. There's also some magnets on top for Naruto to mount to on the base. Naruto himself was sculpted in three different pieces. So first we have the main body and also the head was sculpted separately. We're gonna go ahead and take that off and take a close look at it later. But the body itself, we'll see on the feet, they have those magnets, like I mentioned, that is how he attaches on there. And then some awesome looking chakra particle effects. This is the piece where the tails are gonna go in the back. We have the kunai pouch there, the ninja tool pouch. One of the coolest things they did with this is how they added those different chakra effect particles all throughout the body, looking like it's just about to surround him with that nine tails chakra cloak. Overall, I want you to take notice at how clean the paint job is on this statue. We can see multiple different amounts of shading going on in the orange area there. And we have the Uzumaki clan symbol there on the back, but just a fantastic feral pose Naruto, right? We don't see many statues of Naruto on all fours. And to go along with that feral pose is the feral looking face here. It's wild, crazy looking as if the nine tails or the Kurama is about to completely take over him. The hair was done extremely well. I love how everything has got a spikiness to it and how it's going upwards. That is kind of how it goes in the show when he's about to be taken over. When I had purchased this statue, the seller was very transparent. Unfortunately, the tail was broken somehow, I think when he was trying to put everything back into the box. And he told me, I knew I could fix it, so I used some of the epoxy glue that I have in my uh, BAM Amazon shop in the description you can find if you ever need to look at that. But it, it came together really strong, sticks together. Now, one thing I have an issue with on this statue is the fact that it's four tails. I kind of think that Naruto in this form, it should be three tails, unless it is the fourth just forming and he's about to be taken over. I'm not sure, what do you think? Should it have been three or should they keep it as four as it's in the statue? With the magnet on the tail, it does attach to the back of the hole in Naruto's backside. And then we're gonna go ahead and put him on the secondary base. So there you have it, both of them side by side. You can already see some initial differences. The size is different. Obviously the base is really different, but we do wanna get up close and personal and take a look at the recast so that you can see the quality up 
front and, and how it actually holds up against it. Now, first off, you'll notice the eyes. We'll pull the face in here and see how it just looks different. Right? You can see how it looks off. It does look like a cheap knockoff. Now, when you consider the pricing costs for these two, the recast was, I believe, between $30 and $40, and the Authentic, I paid $750. It would have been plus shipping, but I did pick it up. Overall, though, the outfit looks pretty clean so far for the paint job. The particles coming off of Naruto, the chakra particles look good as well. If you take a look at his foot, for some reason, I guess he's a part of the Akatsuki because he does have the black polish on his uh, toenails. That is kind of an odd thing. That's weird. That wasn't on the original. But the tails also look great. They have the clear... Uh, resin type of look to it, although it is PVC plastic. On the bottom of the base, though, it's hollow. Uh, that's one difference, right? The, the bottom of the other base is really extremely heavy and sturdy. The paint job on the rocks as well, uh, it's kind of like a flat paint on there. There's not much details, which I guess is okay for, again, the $30 to $40 range. For those that just came here for the statue review, I hope this was a little bit enjoyable. This is kind of a preview of the other series that I have running if you haven't caught those and check them out. But uh, side by side, here's how they look. And I will mention the details for this giveaway is to leave a meaningful comment below, not just I want this, give me a meaningful comment. Also subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram or Facebook, and then we will do a random selection on uh, probably Instagram when we do a live about a week after this video goes live itself. If I can't do a live, I may do a community post on YouTube as well, so be sure to check that again a week from after we make this video live. Probably the main and number one issue I have with this statue is the fact that his outfit is wearing what looks to be like the Shippuden clothes where it's black when I think it should be blue because it looks like more of a younger version of Naruto. So that's where this statue feels a little odd is it's like it's adult clothes Naruto in young Naruto's body and so it's just it kind of a confusing thing I almost would like to get repainted if I could uh, but that is the actual statue itself how it looks all together backing out incredible looking it's just crazy how large that QB head is overall well good luck everybody on the giveaway I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video today and as always everybody I will see you in the next video do what you love and love what you do bam out